Hey y'all, thank y'all for showing interest in the video. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Have a great rest of the day. Hey y'all, uh, just here checking in at the Grant, uh, the Grant house here, otherwise known as the Benson house. Um, just wanted to give you all a little tour and uh, a little bit of information of the house. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to go inside right now as it's a little closed up right now, but um, we'll still get you some information and, and give you all some cool stuff. And, and uh, we'll have to walk around a little bit. We'll see you soon. So in the area we are in right now is the city of Grant, located in Florida. It's near Sebastian in Melbourne, Florida. And this waterway that you will see in just a minute is called the Intercoastal, or otherwise known as the Indian River. More about that another time. Anyways, the house was built in 1916 by Atlee Benson for his wife, Clara Christensen Benson. The house itself is actually one of those pre-cut kind of deals and cost about $1,200 unassembled at that time. They used some of that yellow pine lumber and it was actually delivered from Jacksonville on a riverboat. Well, the house you see here today was not built in this exact spot. It was actually moved from its original site, which is maybe 300 feet south of First Street in Grant, overlooking the intercoastal and moved down the Indian River to where it stands today. Interestingly, this spot here is actually historically significant because that's where the city, the town of Grant's first house, totally separate from this, was located and, is, and it was known as Lewis, you know, and the owner was uh, known as Lewis Cossett Smith, who was also known as Honey Smith. That was in 1894. Unfortunately, that house burned down in the 70s. So, about the Bensons themselves. The Benson brothers went on to marry the Christensen sisters, who were both one of the first families and prominent families in the Grant area. Atlee and Clara Benson live in the house with their two kids named Atlee Jr. and Russell until they started going to school. At that point, they started to go to school in Melbourne, maybe because of better schools in that area. Melbourne is about 20 minutes north of here, so it's not too far off. And that is where their son, Edward Hartman, was born. And that was in 1928. The house was rented at that point, right when they moved, went to Melbourne. It was rented for about five years. And until their family moved back to Grant. At which point they probably moved back to the house. As far as Atlee and his brother, Andolf, they were involved in a few things like commercial fishing. They grew pineapples. And they also operated the Jorgensen General Store that first started business in 1894. Ultimately, the house was donated in 1984 to the Grant Historical Society. OK, guys, uh, just going to walk around the house a little bit. Um, this is actually one of my favorite places to go fishing, interestingly enough. Uh, right off this pier, or right off these piers right here and stuff. Good fishing. But anyways, um, this is the uh, Benson house right here. Uh, a very, very old house from the general area. Um, and as you can see, it's it's uh, definitely a pretty, uh, pretty good, uh, still in great condition. There was a little bit of work that was done to it, but still really doesn't have or still really ain't that bad overall see a little bit of water over here uh but in essence the house was on the water like this 
right along the coastal area here. The back porch. back there. And for those that might have an interest, the hours are 10 to 4, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. may want to pause it right there pretty cool but uh anyways this is kind of a little dock i don't think that this was obvious obviously this was an original dock here but uh they wouldn't have i don't think they would have had this with the house where it was originally Pretty cool stuff over here. Well, this was the house. Got a good old tin roof and all that stuff, as you can see from out here. Good old palm trees. Well, anyways, hope that you all enjoyed it and have a great rest of the day.